Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Kate on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos like this where I give you software tutorials, show you how to install software on Chromebook and Linux, then make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go over to your launcher here, and once you click on that, you want to search for settings. And click on your settings and then on the left hand side here you'll see this advanced tab you will click to expand that and if you scroll on down you can see developers click on developers then click turn on okay this will create a wizard that will allow you to set up the Linux development environment I'll click next It'll give you a username based off of your email, I believe. Uh, make sure you like that username because I don't think you can change that later. The disk size, it will give you a recommended disk size. That can be changed later. Um, so you, could, you don't have to worry as much about that. I'm going to keep both as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll let that run and come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to click to maximize this, and I'm going to increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything's up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt get update, and then two ampersands for and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter to run. And this will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, we can now install Kate. To do that, I'm going to type sudo apt get install Kate and hit enter. It's going to prompt me to uh, allow some use of some extra space. I'm going to say yes, so I'll do Y and enter. Okay, once that's run through, we can go to our launcher here and click on the launcher. And I'm going to go down to my Linux apps. If I don't find it in my Linux apps, I could search for Kate, but I can see the icon here. I'm going to right click and pin that to the shelf. And then I'm going to click to open. And here we go. We have Kate installed and you can expand that to get full screen here. And you can begin editing in the Kate text editor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you.